Beep, beep. Hey friends. Hi Milo, what you doing? Oh, um, I'm looking at pictures on the internet of roly parrots. I I'm not finding any though. C could you help me maybe type it in? My fingers aren't working very well. Roly parrots? Oh yeah, yeah, roly parrots. You know, that's what we're talking about today? Oh Milo, I think that you might have misunderstood because today we're actually talking about the Holy Spirit. The who's he, what's it? Yeah, the Holy Spirit, you know, the Spirit of God. Uh, what's that? Well, it's actually not a what, but a who. When the Bible talks about the Holy Spirit, it says he, because the Holy Spirit is a person. Oh, so it's like one of God's good friends. Well, Milo, the Holy Spirit is God. What? I thought Jesus was God. Yeah, that's right. It might seem a little confusing at first, but God has three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They're all completely God, but they have different roles. Actually, I think we should call Dr. Lichtenstein for this one. Okay, it's ringing. Oh, I like this guy. Dr. L, are you there? Oh, hello there. I was just making some eggs. What can I do for you, Miss Emily? Hey, Dr. L, I was hoping that you could help us answer the question, who is the Holy Spirit? Oh, yes, the Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit. Well, as a matter of fact, I think I can do that with these eggs. I have made some eggs of different ways. I've scrambled some eggs and fried some eggs, but my favorite kind of all is the hard boiled, like this one. Yes, I will just take this hard boiled egg and I will take it apart to show you what's inside. The first part is the shell on the outside, as we see here. There it is, it's hard. We crack it open and we put the shell in a little pile right here on the plate. Now, a little more shell, I think. A little more shell, yes, we put that in the pile right there. Next part is the white. The white is the gooey part. It's white. We put that in a pile right here. And the third part is right here, this pretty yellow part in the middle. Now, we'll put that in a pile right there. Now let me ask you, how many eggs did I start with? What is just one? That is right. And how many eggs do I have now? Well, there's still just one. You just separated it now. That's right. Our God is a trinity. Tri means three. He is one God, but there are three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are all equally God. So it is important that we get to know each of them. And the Holy Spirit is very special because that is the part that lives in us. Jesus gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. God living in us. It's for everyone, all the time. I hope that helps. I'm going to eat my eggs now. Bye-bye. Yum. Wow, he, he had a lot of eggs. You, you don't think he's going to eat all those eggs right now, do you? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, so the Holy Spirit is God, and, and he lives in me. Uh, can you tell me some more about the Holy Spirit? Oh, sure, Milo. I think a great place to start would be our memory verse for this week. Oh! Hey kids, this week our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians 6.19. Stand up and try repeating it after me. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you received from God? 1 Corinthians 6.19. Good job! When you believe in Jesus, he fills you with God's spirit, the Holy Spirit. Let's try it again all together. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? 1 Corinthians 6.19. Nice work. If you need more reps, feel free to rewind and do it again. We worship one God, but because he's three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we should spend some time getting to know our God in all three ways that the Bible talks about him. In Matthew 3, we see an awesome story about how Jesus received the Holy Spirit. Jesus traveled to the Jordan River to where his cousin John was baptizing people in the water. He asked John to baptize him too. And at first John said no because he knew that Jesus was perfect and wanted Jesus to instead baptize him.
but Jesus insisted that it was important to obey what his father had said for him to do. Then, when Jesus came out of the water, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came down out of heaven like a dove and rested on Jesus. Wait, Jesus needed the Holy Spirit? Yep, even Jesus, our perfect Savior, needed the Holy Spirit. It was only after Jesus received the Holy Spirit from God that he began his ministry and started performing miracles. Wow, well if Jesus needed the Holy Spirit, I definitely need him. Me too, Milo. I'm so thankful that God has given us such a wonderful gift, the Holy Spirit. You know, boys and girls, before we go, let's pray and thank God for the Holy Spirit. God, we thank you so much for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are one God with three persons. We love you so much. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was so great, Miss Emily. Um, so I know that God is the Holy Spirit and, and that he lives in me because I believe in Jesus. But what does he do? Ooh, that's a great question, Milo, and one that we'll have to answer in another video. Oh man, I was really hoping we were going to find out this week. Bye-bye!